Guys, today is a really happy day for me. An old friend and uh, a collaborator, both professionally as well as personally, is back in studio. Executive Director at ICICI Lomba General Insurance Company, uh, the one and only Sanjeev Mantri. So wonderful to see you. How are you? Looking sharp as always. Uh, thank you so much, Rishi, for having me here. It's been a long time since we have caught up physically. Uh, an absolute pleasure. I think meeting you gives me a lot of energy, so I'm really loving it being here. You know, it's the reason all of you who are listening is that we are now in the seventh season of Get Some Sun. ICICI Lombard uh, presents Get Some Sun on Radio 1, which is a travel program. And actually, because of the pandemic, we had a, a breather. So my association with Sanjeev and with ICICI Lombard and Radio 1's partnership goes back seven years. Uh, so five years of the show, seven years in all. And during this time, I think we definitely as Radio 1 have grown. Uh, and your collaboration has really helped us, given us some very valuable, valuable insights. Uh, I'd like you to view this association. No, absolutely, Rishi. Uh, I still remember very distinctly almost seven years back when this dis discussion came up with respect to having travel getting spoken only on audio mode, which is through radio. It sounded a bit off, you know, it was kind of making us believe how does it work out? How will we be having an audience which will get convinced that we can talk about it? The multiple factors which goes to the credit of you and your team in terms of making it a reality. One is getting star. I think the R Sutradhar who has been there for the last five years, Ranveer Singh, was a pioneer thing to do. And over last few years, the way the show has evolved and the insights that get created, which are curated for the listeners have been tremendous. From our side, I think uh, something which uh, you were relatively averse to but we have pushed you hard is on the digital side. Uh, you've been a radio man, the voice was good enough but we wanted everyone to know and have a look on how smart Rishi K looks. So you've got <laughs> ourselves on the digital side with you. We have pushed you. One critical element I think which we have brought together and which I'm sure the listeners are enjoying is the influencers. Every category is experts and it's always far more, you know, you're far more aligned to accepting the views when an expert says it than an ordinary person. And by getting travel experts talk about their experiences when what to do and what not to do. We've added all that is required for our listeners and that I think together with the team of Radio One as well as us, it's been a privilege and we believe that we have places to go. One in terms of travel and another in terms of the property that is there over here. You know, there's a magical resurgence in travel. It's almost as though people were frustrated sitting at home during the pandemic. Some had saved money. Uh, others had, you know, suddenly shifted their priorities because they realized anything can happen anytime. How do you think the international travel market will grow in the next few years? Very uh, interesting and pertinent question. Uh, we all will agree to the fact that uh, barring last few months, we had a very difficult couple of years full of uncertainty. And the uncertainty can be a multiple kinds. Right? And you can have a global financial crisis, you're worried, your wealth gets eroded. But when it becomes personal and becomes a power of one in terms of our own health getting impacted, your family health getting impacted, it's got severe repercussions. Uh, someone would have told us if we have seen a movie where everyone was sitting indoors for months together, not moving, it was hard to believe, right? We could have felt this is not going to happen and that all got enacted and it was a difficult phase. International travel per se, I think is coming back. So the revenge travel world that we have heard that keeps coming up for discussion has become a reality. We have seen a huge surge and there are some interesting statistics in terms of how the growth of travel is coming back. And I'll use insurance as a proxy because that's where I understand the most to explain you where is the momentum coming from. The travel insurance market, which is just about fraction and I'll talk that in a bit, uh, it's relatively on the lower side was around 800 crores and thereabouts when we talk about March of 19, which is that full financial year. So, yeah. and from there and March of 20, it remained in the same zone, flattish. We had pandemic coming probably somewhere early stages in the month of March. And then for March, uh, the next financial year, it moved to just 250 crores. So you can see the lockdown impact, the global shutdown on multiple counts took the market down. We never thought that this will persist even longer. March of 22, which is another financial aid, it went to 450 crores and thereabout. Still from the peak of 820, 850 crores, it was 450. But if you look at the stats of the year that I just got close, March of 23 financial year, 
it's almost touching 1000 crores so we are 20% wow. plus on the overall travel this speaks about the fact that life has come back to normal and even gone beyond as far as travel is concerned another interesting stat if i have to speak about in terms of what's happening and are people more aware when they talk about insurance and i think that is a pertinent piece and i want really listeners to think about it in march of 19 totally as per the uh, figures available there 3 crore 30 million international tickets got used but the number of total travel insurance policies that got sold were just 2.6 2.7 million so the fact is that in that particular stage less than 10% people were buying travel insurance now to me this is completely bizarre because there were challenges and mind you when the pandemic happened people got trapped overseas people with insurance were so much at ease because the medical requirement the longevity that was there because they had to extend their travel flights got cancelled all of it got taken care of so clearly what is evident is that the penetration was very low we expected a significant surge when people go people are aware of the risk that is associated but somehow the ability to visualize that will devolve was still on the lower side now that being said we have seen a surge of 20 25% to me that is still not enough if there are listeners talking about it make sure if you're traveling please get yourself insured it's not about icsl lombard it's about you buy it from wherever you want to but do not take a step outside country without getting a travel insurance because you are risking a lot more than you can imagine that's very well put you know i actually want to quote from uh, something you have said in a past interview and it's a very interesting uh, comment and you have said rishi no matter how much fun you want to have you can make it even more fun by taking care of all the logistics well in advance before you start traveling which again sparked an idea for us we said every year we make ranveer singh talk about travel destinations where to go what to do you know the experiential aspect of it and this time when we started negotiations and you know discussing creative options with his team i said why can't we do seven tools of travel you know and that has really uh, shattered the roof you know ranveer singh talking about tools of travel or the logistics of it influencers coming on and talking about the tools of travel and the logistics of it so it's not as though you magically appear on a greece island or magically go on to the uh, you know the pharaohs of egypt and uh, the sphinx there's so many of those logistics that need to be taken care of before so you that must make you very happy that even the program now is focused on the tools apart from just the experience i think clearly when the seventh season of get some sun you're talking about seven tools in terms of and seven has it got it got its own value seven wow you talk about seven continents you talk about seven seas so there is so much magical things spread around and the fact that you have incorporated multiple aspects Uh, and there are a lot of conversations that you happen with your own friends and they speak about it that i don't like i like to be adventurous you know and i want to do things impromptu unplanned basis i'm saying this is absolutely fair but you will not climb an everest without proper clothing right so there is there is that element of precaution that comes so that you can actually live in the moment and enjoy because you have been prepared so these aspects should be addressed and some of the angularities which have got covered and the insights that have been shared and for that matter i think who else is better than our own rock star ranvi when he speaks about it there's so much of conviction to me he's he's done all he's been around he knows even someone like him who's taken care of goes through those uncertain phase and mind you in terms of ill health in terms of accident it does not distinguish between personalities it comes on a flatter curve to everyone so prepared being prepared i think is a must and it makes absolute sense in terms of what radio one team has done to cover across the season thanks a lot you know you you gave us an overview of the current state of india's international travel insurance market you said that you know you want to push the envelope more uh, in that aspect are there any other trends you'd like to share with us and how icsc lombard gic is preparing to face those trends the trends are ominous you know if you talk about medical inflation uh, whether you look at domestically or internationally it's hit the roof uh, they are very interesting place uh, typically uh, there is a frequency by which we judge as to how the claims are so if you have done 100 policies uh, what is the frequency in which the claim comes uh, in covid uh, that frequency went up 
by almost 75 to 100 percent. So that was the level of extrapolation. If uh, ordinarily speaking, you see uh, 100 traveling, uh, you know, uh, individuals, you'll have three to four of them claiming. It went to almost six to seven. In that period, bulk of the claims started coming from in-house hospitalization. We saw that there was a 100 percent increase on account of uh, COVID claim. The world itself was settling in in terms of what protocols to follow, uh, how we, they will, you know, that there was no defined way in which the treatment could be administered. There were flight disruptions, there was extension of stay. All of those expenses that come, people who were insured, we could step in and do what is required. Another good part is when you take travel insurance for a reputed com uh, company, in a way, they can step in and do what is required to address the need. We provide internationally cashless. Now that's a significant, because if I go there, I go with limited funds to take care of the holiday. I don't carry fund for the exigency. Yeah. And if you're hospitalized, how do you manage that cash flow? And it can become a nightmare. And clearly from an India perspective, we have seen a lot more aspiring middle class, which has started traveling. And that traffic is expected to go up and away. It's important that this is understood upfront. And I'll give one simple example to make my point. Typically, you end up getting cover of half a million pounds. Yeah. But there are categories available below that. The lower one, which is a half of that half a million, two and a half, two point five, the cover which I'm talking about, two and a half lakh dollars, comes at a price of 2,500 rupees. If you buy a five lakh, which is half a million dollar cover, you got to pay probably 3,200 rupees. You are talking of an incremental rupees of 700, but invariably when people are booking the travel insurance, they say, let me buy the lower one. And to do an evacuation, if you have to come on an air ambulance back to India for your treatment, that cost itself can go to seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars. And post that, you have to also take care of the medical expense that comes in. These are very commonsensical, uh, you know, uh, requirements which can be addressed. And there is no reason to be penny fines, pound fully. I mean, what is a three thousand five hundred to four thousand rupees expense in context of your travel overseas, where you will end up blowing far higher? This penetration of 10 to 12 percent also, which I spoke about, Rishi, is hard to consume. We need to make people aware. And what is it that we are talking about? Awareness versus ability. Awareness is reasonably there. The, the last few years that we have lived with have made us all believe there are challenges that can come up, which can disrupt our best laid plans. And now comes ability. If you're traveling, you can 100 percent afford this kind of an expense. It's just that there is a bit of a stolar Mariko kuch nahi hoga. You know, I am not vulnerable and that creates the mess. Mm. You know, uh, one doesn't say that uh, you, you should be an island onto yourself. A any, uh, uh, you know, insurance provider today has obviously got to keep a keen eye on competition. And I think ICSA Lombard GIC has retained its innovation and at the same time stayed one step ahead of the competition. How do you differentiate your travel insurance products from those of competitors in the market? How important is that to you? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, so there are uh, enough and more players who are there in the space. Uh, but clearly, if we come out as the leaders, where probably uh, one out of five travel insurance policies that is getting sold is being picked up by ICSA Lombard, uh, obviously we have done what is required. Uh, to serve our customers far more appropriately at all points of time. Uh, in terms of the features, cashless, which I've already spoken about it, higher sum insured, no clauses within clauses which can deny you a claim, our ability to handhold, uh, if there's a problem somewhere else and you're uh, you need help at the domestic level, that kind of a cover is available. Lost passport, lost baggage, whichever element that you're talking of is taken care of uh, in terms of uh, the, the traveler's need uh, that comes into play. Uh, also the digital solutioning, your ability to intimate claims digitally and close the whole process digitally. Purchase, of course, it's not us, all others also do a seamless option of going on the website and picking up. See, one thing which has come out very clearly is that uh, the faceless part and ensuring that service comes in. Gone are the days when you always felt the need of having an agent whom you can call and speak with. The younger generation, the millennials, which are becoming part of the traveling mass for the country are uh, very, very comfortable doing this. All of us have aligned our processes to the hilt to ensure that we deliver them best in class service. And one appropriate thing which has to be understood is when you service any customer through technology, you don't differentiate between classes and masses. Yeah. I mean, for an ATM withdrawal, 
each one of us has to stand in the line and do a withdrawal. If I go to the cash counter, there can be a differentiated treatment. Mm. So technology in no way ensures that we all are treated fairly at a particular price. And to very me, well said. that's very a well very said. big mm. plus that comes and can give any middle class person like us confidence that I'll be taken care of in case of an exigency. Yeah, that democratization, if I can call it that, is just spectacular. Very, very well said. Okay, uh, you know, I, I look at these constant innovations in terms of product launches, in terms of how it's enhancing the life of the insured person. And I'm going to ask you to, to reflect on a couple of them. Uh, you recently launched Anywhere Cashless, innovative product. Tell us more about it. How does it work? Now, this is one of the first of its kind that we have put across Rishi uh, and uh, I'm very happy to connect with my listeners and tell you uh, typically in a conventional process uh, we all have network hospitals we tie up with them and in the case of an exigency where you're going to be an inpatient, inpatient where you're getting admitted in the hospital uh, in network we do a cashless settlement but over the last few years we realized that many of our customers who are far flung who've got uh, you know who have to go to a hospital which is not part of an empaneled hospital with us used to struggle and used to make claims on a reimbursement basis. At the point of time when you have to make that payment and the expense can go to one and a half, two lakhs, it's not fair that that kind of a cash flow is available and where they end up paying and then sending the whole process of you know invoices coming to us and we reimbursing it. That's why we have taken the bold step of saying that as a company, we will give you anytime, anywhere cashless. We, all you need to do is intimate us that you will be getting admitted, even if that is not part of our network. As an ICSL Lombard customer, we will get in touch with the hospital, confirm that, that there will be a cashless settlement and close your payment without impacting your cash flow. This, to me, is a landmark change in terms of what we have done. We have given freedom to our customers across the country to enjoy the product and also don't care, bear in their mind that if they have to only you know reach out to a network hospital and get the treatment so it's a big freedom uh, that we have given and this is the key differentiator wonderful then we move on to the il take care app that's getting some rave reviews sanjeev and uh, i'd like you to throw some light on it well, okay it's again uh, a classic one uh, i must tell the listeners that we've got almost 5 million downloads but that's not what the key data that i'm talking about what is more important is that almost 30 percent of the people who are using this app are not our customers but they are still using it because of the facilities that are available one of the key one which is there is that face scan any one of our customer non-customer can get download the app do face scan and in two minutes they'll get reading the stress level the blood pressure the pulse rate the oxygenation level all of those readings can come to them available in a jiffy on their top and the data will keep getting stored for their own reference. We also have ensured that through that I'll take care app, people can make claims, raise their queries. You will be surprised that almost 60% of our reimbursement claims are done paperless by people sending documents through the app. Not only this, we have a special feature which is called dynamic health risk assessment feature. When I say dynamic, it can real-time pick data from your mobile and as you are exercising, if you're taking more steps, keep changing your profile on it. You can take that particular questionnaire. You will get an assessment of where you are, which stage you are when it comes to your own fitness and drive yourself to the next level. Because to me, I think your own fitness becomes one of the most critical criteria in terms of ensuring that you are near and dear ones are taken care of. So this particular app is more with the respect to service our customer end to end and the response that we have got from customers as well as non-customers have been truly heartening. You know, I, I want to come back to something we, we talked about a little earlier and suddenly come back to me, which is customers changing needs in the international travel insurance market. And you made a very valid point. That our parents' generation, even, you know, we, a couple of decades ago, we used to feel very happy saying the insurance agent has come, if it is life insurance. Or, you know, some representative of the company has come home and a cup of tea. Millennials just don't have the time, you know, which is why they love interacting with technology. Now, artificial intelligence is here. You know, you already adopted bits of it uh, at a very early stage. Uh, the fact that these changing needs are going to always be there. I get the feeling that being in the kind of business that you are, 
you have to also read consumers behavior patterns yes absolutely and, absolutely, and absolutely. you know map those behavior patterns and sometimes those behavior patterns change after 100% 100% yeah it must be very exciting part no, of your job it's, yeah. it's exciting and the way we have done is we want to use technology with respect to means to an end mm. but technology with a human touch see fundamentally uh, tech processes while they can operate with very fair amount of you know equal service but in the end an emotional touch is also required so uh, as an organization we have been very cautious we've used wherever required a digital process if we need to we will reach out to the customers because sometimes a message is not enough maybe a call is required so th- there is a combination that, so we are very conscious of the fact that the balance has to be managed so typically fulfillment will be done by using technology but the service aspect the softer part of it is something which we are also very cautious of so we have been mixing both of it from a trend perspective you are clearly right uh, the the like look at the travel people use the word revenge travel now people travel for this is a sleep holiday people want to travel for only adventure sport i mean there, there is there is so much of the wellness travel yeah. just people go on a two weeks or just to get themselves purified in terms of getting themselves feeling lighter and these trends and probably as you see the indian middle class growing by leaps and bounds these kind of requirements will keep coming up uh, to uh, and to us it's been a, a huge journey and i believe that in next 3 to 5 years the overseas travelers would probably double from where we are now so there's a huge uh, you know outflow of passengers that will happen every year and that's one part of it we are talking about international travel there's a domestic part of it i mean the amount of investment the government is doing there's a, in this budget almost 2400 crore has been put aside to ensure that we beef up our domestic travel and to me travel can be a backbone of lot of uh, countries the contribution of travel industry per se rise in the range of 8 to 9% of the gdp for us i think it can grow much faster the way we are investing as a country and this contribution can go to 12 to 14% in the next 3 to 5 years that's wonderful in fact it reminds me uh, in one of our uh, thematic shows ranveer singh talks about how there's a sport called stand up paddle board yoga that means people normally take a surfboard and they go surfing right yeah yeah you know it's it's very well known in bondi beach in australia and you know in in miami and things like that if you take a surfboard and put it on still water and try and do yoga on it the effect it has on your core you know and apparently people are taking vacations to the bahamas people are taking vacations to the maldives to do stand up paddle board yoga and stand up paddle board yoga instructors do that bring your surfboard wow. and do it on still water you know and hold your core when it comes so. to stand up when it comes to stand up only i can think of is stand up comedy shows <laughs> but this is amazing you know okay. this is uh, only ravi has got the core by which he can do all this we have a long way to go both of us need to start practicing uh, me definitely <laughs> okay we move now to the the fun aspect of this interview and part of the the great experience of just hanging with you and chilling out with you in studios is listening to your immense experience of having met all these wonderful sports personalities also sports that you follow very avidly and of course your marathon career i want to start with a whatsapp message my eyes literally popped out uh, sanjeev mantri spain versus germany in qatar <laughs> like, my god you're there <laughs> and you said yeah and you sent me a picture on whatsapp and you know i was just so happy and i i lived through that game through your eyes and i was watching it on the television and i said my god he's there in the stadium that must have been a goosebump inducing experience yeah so uh, absolutely and uh, it was random luck uh, that you reached out uh, it was actually a meeting with redvi i think <laughs> and that's where i said that uh, i would have loved to catch up with him but the fact of the matter is where i'm going is looking far more relevant in scheme of things uh, it was an experience it was probably a bucket list item and i did this uh, with a friend of mine who was crossing his 50th so to uh, 50 plus guys travel to uh, doha i think it was electrifying see any sports activity if you are a sports buff gives you goosebumps when you see people converting an activity into an art and world cup is the mecca right there is nothing that goes beyond as far as football is concerned uh, 
in the end but yes we, we are blessed to be there we are happy to execute uh, would have loved meeting ranveer and hopefully rishi will give me a time sometime or the other and we'll make that happen but an an enthralling experience undoubtedly and uh, also the fact that you'd set yourself a very clear goal saying you want to finish the six marathons tokyo is, was was bugging you <laughs> yes. and you were like i have to do tokyo i have to finish the tokyo marathon and it finally happened i mean uh, unfortunately you picked up an injury on the way just talk to me about that talk to me about training finally what you felt in japan finishing tokyo it's i think uh, a very pertinent question i can probably speak on this for hours together uh, but to keep it short and simple uh, march 20 is when we were supposed to uh, close this out march 3rd was the run and uh, that's how you know you plan but you need your own luck and destiny to execute it pandemic happened couple of weeks our training was all done and uh, we were supposed to just go run and that would have taken care of all six uh, major marathons uh, but life had planned something else uh, everything got cancelled post that it turned out to be an agonizing couple of years wait uh, you're right it was annoying but uh, and i picked up an injury which made it even difficult but uh, there were friends who rally around you and that's why you need friends probably uh, they really uh, punched me or forced me into it went through a rehab did uh, my run and when i was on the last kilometer Uh, the feeling was more of relief that it's done and dusted. I want to move back to tennis and probably spend some more time learning. And I'm still waiting for a match or a game with you because you've been phenomenal and you, I'm sure, can give me a lot more tips on how to play my back end in tennis, which continues to be a pain. Uh, but uh, you know, whenever you do activities like this, this has. T- I ran my first uh, of the six marathon in 2011 in Berlin, so it's taken more than 10 years. Uh, sometimes but doing things slowly but enjoying it is much better than probably getting you know swallowing it very quickly and i say what every minute of it it's gone it's become part of a past now it looks like a distant past also because my next aim is can i try do a triathlon and that's what i'm aiming for rishi and uh, fingers crossed hopefully i'll do something soon yeah you know when sanjeev told me off the mic he said you know that's it i've done the marathon circuit I suddenly thought of a, a, a random thought came into my head. You know, Sherpas, the great Sherpas who used to keep <laughs> climbing Everest. They would climb Everest ten times, fifteen times, twenty times. Oh yeah, it's not going to happen. But it's one of those things; it just draws you, you know. And you've got to keep doing it. So I'm glad that you might not do it in the marathon form, but yeah. you know, long distance running will continue. with your attempts at, at the triathlon so uh, you know we wish you great luck as far as that is concerned personality is i mean i've i've had these wonderful conversations with you where you've talked about kapil dev you've talked about bits of of your interaction with andre agassi one of the things that you do on a regular basis is you motivate uh, employees of icsc lombard gic to actually take part in the mumbai marathon um and you know get their fitness levels in check any personalities that you've met off late a sporting personality or otherwise that you've been pretty impressed uh, by so right now is rishi k uh, one of the best personalities i've met he's given me a time after a long time and it's been absolute uh, pleasure uh, frankly speaking uh, the way i look at personalities is anyone who can convert an ordinary activity into an art So as a pan wala outside Gallup who sits, who makes amazing pan. To me, uh, to me, he is worth worshiping because uh, see, a lot of people do a lot of stuff, but the moment they take it to next level, in fact, level which probably I cannot see myself being. I mean, they become part of my you know worship mode where I really start enjoying it. And uh, uh, Rishi, for me, I easily fall into a personality trap where you keep running into people everywhere at every in every sphere of life who are so much. better is part of the constraint and uh, that's the way i look at it uh, but as of now if you ask me recent past only personality i met worth mentioning is rishi k and no one else <laughs> so kind of you that's really really so kind of you guys get some sun uh, season 7 icsi lo bar presents get some sun season 7 with ranveer singh with radio 1 radio host as well as travel influencers comes to you every single weekday morning afternoon as well as evening on prime time radio please do follow it Keep an eye out on at ninety four point three Radio One India on Instagram. At uh, uh, look for our YouTube channel at nine four three Radio One International, and of course the ICICI Lombard uh, handles uh, across social media because there's also a lot of statics and videos that are going out to celebrate this incredible travel program that uh, 
they have supported ICSA Lombard and Sanjeev Mantri and the team have supported so kindly over the years. Thank you very, very much and I can't wait to see you soon. Ah, Cheers. Absolute pleasure <laughs> and thank you so much for hosting me. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. 94.3 Radio 1.